All open or closed programs that are pinned to the taskbar automatically align to the left-hand side in Windows 7. So even if I try to come down here and click and drag and move a program, let's say to the center, the moment I let go of the mouse, zip, it automatically gets drawn to the left-hand side. It's like the start button is a magnet and nothing can escape its pull, so that doesn't work. Or if I come over here and right-click in a blank area on the taskbar, you'll notice that it's locked. Even unlocking it and trying to move the pin programs around, that won't work either. I'm going to go ahead and click off in a blank area. Well, let me ask you, does it really matter that you can move your pin programs around or line them to the center, then to the left, or even to the right? Well, if I had a widescreen monitor and I was working over on the right-hand side and I need to open up a program, it would be nice if I can have those pin programs meet me halfway in the center here on the taskbar than having to come all the way over here to the left-hand side. So I have two solutions here. One is to create a new toolbar and introduce it down here to the taskbar, breaking up the uh, start button's pull, as it were. So when I have that toolbar here, it'll allow me to go ahead and move these pin programs as a group, either to the center, to the right, or wherever along the taskbar. The second solution is the next training video, and that's bringing back the quick launch toolbar which was supposed to be done away with in Windows 7, but it's actually hidden, and I'll show you how to bring that up. But right off the bat, the Quick Launch Toolbar doesn't give you a jump list. So even though you can put all the programs on the Quick Launch Toolbar, when you right-click on any one of those programs, you don't get this menu here, okay? You don't get the jump list. Let me click off in a blank area. So I favor creating a new toolbar and breaking up the pull of the Start button, or allowing me to align these pin programs as a group, somewhere along the taskbar to the center or to the right. Now I have a training video on learning how to create a new toolbar, but for the sake of this training video, we have to learn it here to be able to align our pin programs on the taskbar. So know that when you create a new toolbar, it has to be based upon a folder. Because when the toolbar is added down here on the taskbar, when you click on that button or that folder, it reveals all the contents of the folder. Basically, that's the whole purpose of creating a new toolbar, is not having to go to that folder. Just come down here and click on its corresponding button. It opens up the folder and shows everything within it. But we're not creating a new toolbar here to be able to open up a folder. We just want to create one here to be able to align these icons. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new blank folder, okay? To do that, I'm going to find a blank area somewhere on my desktop and give it a right click. Then in the menu, come up, hover over New, and then go over, follow the arrows, go over, and then click on Folder. And it does two things. First of all, it adds a new folder to my desktop. Second of all, it's got the generic text, or the name of the folder, and it's highlighted. So if I start typing, it'll actually type over the text. If I like it, then I can click off in a blank area. If I don't, then go ahead and rename it by right-clicking on it, going up and click on Rename, and then go ahead and just start typing again. Mine will be Spiff. And then when I'm done, I can just hit enter on the keyboard, and that will accept the new name as well, as if I just clicked off in a blank area. Now to go ahead and create my new toolbar based upon this folder. To do that, just come down here, find a blank area somewhere on your taskbar, give it a right click, and then go up in the menu, hover over toolbars, and then go over, follow the arrow, over and down, and click on new toolbar. It'll actually open up the window and say, okay, what folder do you want to be able to base this new toolbar upon? It says choose a folder. Well, that folder's on my desktop, so let me come up here and click on the desktop. And it's spiff, so let me go ahead and click on that, and then come down here and click on Select Folder. Boom, and there it is. It's over to the far right-hand side of my taskbar. It's called spiff. So I'm almost there. I've got my new toolbar here. The next step is, is to get the toolbar from the right-hand side over to the left-hand side, thereby allowing me to move these pin programs anywhere on the taskbar, because right now, click and drag, zip, doesn't work, okay? So what I'm going to do to be able to move this, when I click and drag it doesn't move, is that I have to unlock the taskbar. So go ahead and find a blank area, right click, come up here, remove the check to unlock it, and then you'll notice you got these three columns of little dots here for the spiff toolbar that's based upon the spiff folder, and then three little columns of dots here for all these other programs, open or closed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my spiff toolbar, hover over those three columns of dots, and you see my pointer turns into arrows pointing in opposite directions. Go ahead and click and drag that and move it and keep moving it and don't stop and keep moving it and keep moving it until it, boom, it pops. Have faith, just keep pushing until you get to the other side because as soon as it touches, it's going to pop that other, well, part of your taskbar that had all those pin programs, snaps it right over to the right hand side. They just switch places. So the toolbar is now the left hand side and everything went over to the right hand side. 
Now I can hover over these three columns of dots with my pointer till I get arrows pointing in opposite directions and I can click and drag and I can actually well, see I can move that and align it to the center kinda to the left or to the far right and that's it. Then I can go ahead and right click and lock the taskbar. Except I have one problem. Well I got two. First of all I'm not using that folder so how about if I just right click on it and delete it and say yes. Won't that get rid of the toolbar? No, that's one of the cool things. The toolbar is there. The only way to get rid of the toolbar is to right click and to come up to toolbars and uncheck spiff, which I don't want to do. Let me click off in a blank area. The second thing is, is that if I have a dummy toolbar, and I do, because I'm just using it to offset the magnetic pull of the start button, as it were, so it doesn't pull all these other pin programs over the left hand side, I don't need to see the name here. And you can get rid of the name by right clicking, going to unlock the taskbar, and then right clicking on the name, and we don't want to show the title, and you can right click and come up here and say that you don't want to see the text or uncheck show the text. Uncheck both of these, the title and the text. And then come back down here and right click and lock the taskbar and you're set. Anytime you want to be able to align your pin programs or open programs to the left to the far right, just give it a right click and unlock it and go ahead and click and drag. Okay. If that doesn't work for you, of course, you can do away with this by coming down here, right clicking in a blank area, going up to toolbars and unchecking spiff, and it was like nothing ever happened. And of course, you can right click and lock the taskbar so you don't accidentally move it to the right side or to the top of your screen. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.